hi guys this is la contra today i'm going to be showing you how to make this ankara applique mock placket pattern drafting style please like share subscribe and stay tuned Welcome guys, so here I've drafted an A-line dress, this is front and this is the back. So let me just show you what I've done, this is shoulder line, chest line, bust point line, waist line, hip line and hem line. On the chest line I did quarter of bust circumference plus half inch for ease, on the waist line quarter of waist circumference plus one inch for ease. On the hip line, I did quarter of hip circumference plus one inch for ease, and on the hem line, I did quarter of hip circumference plus four inches. It's an A-line dress, and at the back, you can see it's gonna have a zipper. I slanted the zipper from chest to waist and waist to hip, just like that. So, in order to make adapt this applique, we're going to be adapting it from the mid shoulder straight down to the hemline so from the shoulder i'm going to mark 2.5 inches and i'll mark it in form of an arc so here's here i am marking 2.5 inches i'm just going to mark it in some more places and then for the center front when you open the fold it's supposed to be as wide as 2.5 inches so that means i'm going to be marking half of 2.5 inches which is one and quarter inches so I'm marking it straight down to the hemline so here we are I've marked it let me just show you there's nothing elaborate just mark one and three quarter from the center front down there okay so right now I'll take my long ruler and connect these points together I'm going to use a red marker so that you know you can tell the difference between the center front line and the applique we are adapting from this dress okay I've drawn the straight line and for the curve part I'm going to use my hip curve to be doing that so I'm just going to make sure that the curve line and the straight line meet just like so and then I'm going to blend that sharp corner into a smooth curve okay I want the curve and the line to transition into each other smoothly so I'm going to place my hip curve this way and blend wow you can see that was so easy so that's the shape of our mock placket the Ankara applique so right now I'm going to add same allowance to the pattern all same allowance has been added 0.5 at the neck 1 inch for side seam 1 inch at the hem okay so I'm going to be slashing through this line as indicated by the scissors icon I'm drawing right now I'm going to be separating that part from the front pattern and then this is the zipper allowance side seam one inch and all those shenanigans about seam allowance so right now i'm separating the patterns from the middle i'm going to cut out the back first so just cut out following the frame of the pattern so there here's the back i'm cutting out the front so pay close attention to how I'm doing this, okay? I'm who, and then I'm going to slash to separate the applique from the main bodies itself. I suggest you use a contrasting color of fabric for the applique, just like the Ankara you saw. So this inseam, I'm, I'm going to add 0.5, and here too, I'm going to add 0.5 seam allowance, half an inch. 
to be able to sow them to each other. And here is something to note. This is the center fold, okay? The applique is going to be cut on fold. So here, I've cut out on fabric. Let me just flip this to the underside so you can see it. I've cut out fabric and lining. So that's the applique, fabric and lining. And that's the remaining part of the front. This is the back. Okay. You can see fabric lining. Fabric lining. And you can see the applique. I used Ankara. Okay. You should use Ankara or contrasting color for the beauty of that applique to show. So check out the patterns from top to the bottom. Yep. And so here are my sleeve. This is a basic sleeve, short sleeve, elbow length. And then of course I have three layers of peplum to be attached to the hemline of the sleeve to bump the style up just like you've seen. So please like, share, subscribe. See you in future videos. Stay inspired. Bye for now.